Okay, ladies, it's time to get glamorous. Pull out your red lipstick and let's get started on the black tie look. This is a great classic Hollywood glamorous look that works on all women. And yes, there is a right red for everyone, which you can find in the Carmody app. Just avatar yourself and find the right lip shade for you. All right, so the first step is we're going to Carmondize the face. I'm starting off with my basic face and we're using the highlight shade in my Storm palette. And we're gonna start off sweeping this right on top of the cheekbones. And as you know, I carmenize everybody's face. And that is a great way to just enhance your natural beauty by highlighting the natural planes of your face where the sun hits it, the light hits it, and it makes that skin look really beautiful, candlelight. It's just a, a nice way to glow up your skin and make it look fresh and dewy and really radiant. Okay, so we have the cheekbones. Now, usually when I carmenize the face, I only do it under the brow and on the inside corner of the eye. But this time, for this look, we're gonna sweep it across the entire lid. So from the lash line all the way up into the crease, all the way up to underneath that brow, and on the inside corner of the eye. So really cover that entire space. So inside, lid, crease, and underneath. It really just makes that eye pop with carmenizing highlight. So all the way across the whole lid, you're just covering that whole lid. And we're using a nice fluffy eyeshadow brush that's got natural bristles, which is the best way to apply powder shadow. And again, on the inside corner of the eye, and you've got your base highlight and you're ready for the next step, which is lashes. Now don't be intimidated by lashes. Wearing false lashes can actually be really, really easy. What you wanna do, my favorites, because they're the most natural, are, are Andrea number 53s. And what I do is I just peel it off and I snip them in half. I take a pair of cuticle scissors and I snip them in half and then I just use one section of it. This is much easier than trying to struggle with a big false lash. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a little bit of glue on the back of my hand, right there on my wrist, and I'm just dragging the seam of that eyelash right through that glue, okay? And the reason why I'm cutting these in half and applying them just in a little section at the outer corners, it's easy to handle than messing with the big, giant false lash. So we're just giving it a beat so the glue gets a little tacky. And now we're just gonna place it at the outer corners of the eyelash. So just at the outer lash line. And voila, that easy, it's that fast. See, because sometimes if your eyes are a little small and the lashes are too big, it's you're messing around, easy, snip them in half, you're good to go. So we're gonna do the other side, and we're just snipping them in half. And take that false lash, run it through the seam, or run the seam through the glue. And we're just gonna weigh it a beat, and apply it right at the outer corner of that lash line. And see that already, it's like glorious, gorgeous fun, flirty, false lashes. So while that's drying, now what we're gonna do is actually put a little eyeshadow on because we want that nice and dry before we line it with liquid liner. So I'm using my Storm palette and I'm taking kind of a taupe shade and a dome brush and I'm sweeping right into the crease. And what this is doing is giving the eye some nice depth. Now this is a universal look, so it doesn't matter what eye shape you have, find your crease and sweep this color back and forth. And it kind of gives a little bit of definition to that eye. See how that works? So you're getting a nice definition. It's giving the eyes a little bit of depth, but yet we're not wearing too much color on the eyelids because it's all about a red lip in this look, so we don't wanna overpower the face with a lot of heavy eyeshadow. So keep it soft, keep it beautiful, keep it elegant by just that highlight and this taupe shade. So now the lash glue is dry, so what we're gonna do is line that upper lash line with a little bit of liquid liner. Now liquid liner can be tricky for a lot of women, so I have a solution. Instead of really like lining the entire lash line using that wand, what I like to do is actually take a flat angle brush and dip it into the liquid liner or actually on the applicator of the liquid liner and then apply with the angle brush. This is easier for women if they have a shaky hand, if they're just not sure on how to apply that liquid liner. 
They can really get in there by using an angle brush. An angle brush is just easier to work with than the liquid brush. So I'm just, as you can see, dipping the liquid liner in here, pulling it out, using my flat angle brush to pick it up, and then sweep on. And what we're doing is we're hiding the seam of that false lash. We're winging it out ever so slightly at the ends, and this is completely covering the seam of that false lash. So it totally looks like your natural lashes. See, and I'm just doing small little dashes and a little wing at the end. And now let's get the other side so we look balanced, not lopsided. I don't look lopsided. So again, we'll wing it out at the ends and small little dashes to hide that seam. And this is just so much easier than wielding that liquid liner. Now, if you're a pro at wielding that li liquid liner, then go for it. Be my guest. It takes a very steady hand. But in the meantime, you can just use the flat angle brush to get that on there. And it's just, it's, it's less, you know, less difficult to apply liquid with the angle brush. And it's more forgiving. So you can control the thickness. If you want to go a little thicker, you can. But I always like to start thin and then work my way up. If you go thin and then get thicker, then you can control it. If you go thick and you don't like it thick, then it's harder to kind of tone down afterwards. Now, don't worry if you don't have a perfect line at the end, like a little wing. One of my favorite little tricks is take a fine-tipped concealer brush, dip it in a little bit of foundation or concealer, and just clean up the edge and that creates a perfect wing every time. I've got a little, a little eyelash, make a wish, good luck. See how I'm creating that perfect wing now because I have this concealer brush dipped in a little bit of foundation and that creates that perfect little wing. So you don't have to be a master at winging it out. You can just do it and then adjust it using this little angle brush or this little flat concealer brush. Now when I use concealer brushes I want to make sure that those are synthetic hairs because that works better than the natural bristles. Okay so now we got that upper lash line going on. Now it's time to bring mascara in so we can blend the falsies with the real ones. So starting at the root sweep to the tip and you can go back and forth vertically or horizontally but see now they're looking like my real lashes. You can see that the false ones are disappearing as we work. Just disappearing into that lash line so they look like my large, beautiful lashes are totally natural. Nobody needs to know you're wearing falsies. That's another thing. When you wear a full set of false lashes, it's kind of obvious sometimes. But when you snip them in half and just do a little half, it's much less noticeable. And get the other side. And I'm using black mascara, the blacker the better, because with this look, it's really just about intensifying those eyes. Really get in there. See, so it's really kind of starting to look amazing. Now, one thing that I like to do is I like to take that same lid color that I put into the crease, and I'm actually going to sweep that very lightly underneath the lower lash line. What I don't want is black because that's going to be too harsh. We want to keep that black just underneath or just on top of that upper lash line. So we want to bring that taupey shade underneath the lower lash line. That gives it a little bit more subtlety. It's really nice. It gives a little bit of definition, but not too much. And then use your little magic eraser to clean up anything that's fallen underneath. And a little magic eraser is just a sponge dipped in a little bit of foundation. And now you can add a little bit of mascara to the lower lash line for a little definition down there. And your eyes are almost done. Just sweep from root to tip. Kind of get in there. And you've got these big, beautiful, flirty eyelashes all the better to pair with that great red lip. Now, when you're wearing a red lip, you want to go kind of neutral on the blush. You don't want to wear a red blush and a red lip. So we're doing a nice pink shade that's really subtle. And we're doing it from the apples back to the hairline. Just to, you know, give a little bit of color to the face so you're not just all lip. 
It gives a little bit of color so it balances a little bit. Nobody wants to be all lip, that's scary. Okay, now when it comes to the red lip, you definitely want to make sure that it stays put. There's nothing worse than putting on a perfect red lip and then having it wear off real easy. So first we're going to line the lips with a red lip liner. And I like to start by just tracing the perimeter of the lip and then filling in the lip so it has a nice base for the lipstick to adhere to. This is what keeps it wearing all day and all night. If you have a black tie event to go to and you're going to be sipping wine and eating dinner, you want your red lipstick to last. So trace along the outer rim. Don't talk to anybody when you do this. <laughs> and now fill it in. You want to make sure that your lips are nice and soft when you do this. You don't want to have dry cracked lips when you're wearing a red lipstick. So before you even start this whole look, I suggest buffing your lips with a little bit of sugar and a washcloth, wet one, and that way you're just buffing um, all the dry skin off and then put on a little bit of lip balm. So that when you do this look, it'll be nice and smooth. Okay. So now we filled in the lip with that liner. Now it's time for lipstick. And I like to apply red lipstick with a lip brush. And the reason why is because it's a little bit more of a defined look. So it looks a little more polished. So we're using a beautiful red lip shade. And an, again, a synthetic brush is best when using anything like creams, liners, lipsticks. So now we're just filling in that lip with that great red lipstick. And you want to make sure that you cover that line, that lip line, so it looks all smooth and uniform. And don't worry if you've gone outside the line a little bit because I have a little trick that I'm going to show you next. Beautiful color red, and you will find the exact red that will work for you inside the Carmody app. And you definitely want to stay away from any lip gloss when wearing a red lip. It could be too much. The red on its own is making the statement. Okay, and now we got our red lips. And if you feel like you have gone outside the perimeter of your lip and you want to make sure that it looks absolutely perfect, take that wonderful little um, concealer brush, dipped in a little bit of foundation, and clean up the area. And this is the best way to get that perfect red lip. And just cleaning it up so it's all nice and perfect. And that is it, my dear. Are you ready for this look? This is a bold one. This is the black tie look. Best for evening, best for special events, and it's a, wear, a way to wear that beautiful, glamorous Hollywood red lip look. And there's one red lip for everybody, so go for it.